Hey guys, what's up, it's Iflin here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pup Assist in Warframe that was introduced in the main lineup, the Chimera. This pool arm, it says staff in the description, but this pool arm isn't really anything too special. Like I was, you know, I tried to make this video a few times and I was really struggling for reasons to recommend this thing over the likes of a Zaw. But just get a Zaw. Like, just get a play crit path stung on any link from the Aquanagi family Zaw. And it's gonna be better than this thing. Like, it's not that it's a bad weapon. It's just kind of like, why would I use this whenever Zaws exist? And Zaws are, um, you know, pretty easy to access. And the Zaws are just overall better type of thing. But uh, apart from, like, completely writing off the weapon, it is a pull arm that deals viral and impact damage. And you can build it for a crit condition overload hybrid or just for condition overload so i'll show you guys first the base stats of course so we have an attack speed of 0.8 channeling cost of 5 channeling damage of 1.5 times but no one really cares about that critical chance of 13 percent crit multiplier of 1.5 times so not insanely good but decent damage block of 85 percent leap attack of 90 riven dispo of free spin attack of 193 status chance of 27 percent base which is pretty nice Wall attack of 150, and then we have impact and viral damage at base, which, you know, sure, that's fine. Impact isn't necessarily a bad damage type because, you know, it deals more damage versus shielded enemies or any enemy that takes more damage from impact damage. And viral is pretty good because it effectively halves the enemy's HP for a certain amount of time, which is really, really nice. But uh, the damage numbers are very, very low, and, you know, you're only really able to proc your you know, three different elements or four different elements that you have on the weapon at any given time, right? So I say four different elements. It's more like four different damage types here. So yeah, this is my condition overload build. So this is a very straightforward one. You have your prime pressure point for your main damage, prime fury for your attack speed, condition overload to get more damage per every single status uh, proc applied to an enemy. And then we have our dual stat elementals for our status chance and elemental damage. So vir Virulent Scourge plus Voltaic Strike for your Corrosive, Volcanic Edge plus Vicious Frost for your Blast. And then we take a take a little dip into, into what's it called, into proc bias by using Prime Fever Strike to make it so that we proc our Corrosive procs more consistently, right? But you can also go ahead and mod it for your Crit Condition Overload Hybrid which is also very, very nice as well. So you have your prime pressure point on here for your damage, condition overload for that extra damage on status proc, blood rush for your critical chance, pair that with drifting contact so it scales uh, properly and you don't lose out in your combo, organ shatter for your critical damage, berserker for your attack speed, and then we have violent scourge and voltaic strike for our corrosive elemental combo. However, you are going to be getting a lot less use out of your condition overload because you're only going to be using three different damage types, right? So you're not going to be procking a lot unless you use something to proc um, statuses on enemies prior to using this weapon. But I don't really see the point in that because there's other weapons out there which you can build for condition overload uh, or condition, condition overload crit hybrid that will, you know, proc more uh, damage types or status effects on enemies base without having you to swap between stuff, right? So I was really struggling or searching for things to, you know, try to recommend or redeem this weapon, but there's really nothing that I can find. I was looking on the wiki and everything, but the slam attack isn't anything special. Like you, you see like a little like gas like effect that's left behind but i think that might just be to do with like the fact that they were working on particle effects and stuff and they wanted to kind of show it off with the new weapons but um yeah there's not a lot there's not a lot with this weapon that is really uh really special so i guess first i'll show you guys the pure condition overload builds uh so this is no crit at all we're not going to be pausing the ai and we're going to be spawning in 20 level 155 heavy gunners uh, the only thing that's going to be boosting my damage or my DPS technically is my two arcane strikes that I have equipped on my Valkyr. So you're going to see a little bit more attack speed than normal uh, whenever they actually proc. So as you can see, what's happening, whenever we proc our uh, our status effects, there, our damage kind of starts to scale up, which is re really, really nice. And because we have the likes of blast damage on there, the enemies are falling over, so it's opening them up to uh, finish your damage too if we look down at them and stuff like that, which, which is all right. But finisher damage is, is kind of um, not what you're looking at whenever you're testing out a new weapon. You know, you're not really looking at the finisher damage. You're like, oh, well, how will this perform just in regular combat? But 
I guess you can kind of take it into consideration with the amount that we are knocking down enemies with the blast, but I don't know. It's really down to you whether or not you uh, see that as a redeeming factor, you know. Uh, personally, with the current meta of the game, the spin the wind meta, like you're just shredding through everything anyway. And um, with other condition overloads or even condition overload crit hybrid weapons like a crit path, for example, uh, you're able to even just throw like prime reach on on a on a pull arm, and then just spam E going for a mission. Like, and then you'll just kill everything. You know, it's actually uh, very very insane, but. It's, it's kind of taking a little bit too long for my liking to kill all of these guys, but that's just kind of what it is. But you can see that we do take, you know, pretty decent chunks of health, health out of the enemies. And we are, remember, halving the enemy's uh, health with the viral procs as well, which is really, really nice. But other than that, let's go ahead and try the, uh, the crit condition overload hybrid, which... Eh, I mean, it's okay. Like, it's more or less going to be the same. Like, it's it's nothing too special. Like, I'm not let down because I didn't really have high expectations for this weapon anyway. But, it would have been nice if it had some redeeming factor in some way, you know? But I suppose we did get, like, two really, really cool weapons. The, uh, the spoiler one and the Falcor, right? So... I mean, those are nice. I, I prefer the, the crit condition overload hybrid. It just seems to kill them a lot quicker, at least in my opinion. Because you're getting those higher numbers, right? So, it's not as if we have any slash procs or anything helping us out. It's just because we're half an enemy's health with viral. And our uh, Caruso damage is also coming into effect here as well. So we just have, like, I guess more focused status procs. And then more consistent damage, in my opinion. That also can can scale up a little bit better. So that's kind of it, really. Like, there's no redeeming factor. There's no fancy slam attack. There's no fancy charge attack. There's no hidden mechanic to it. We thought that, like, because of the description, the two different uh, sides of the pole arm would, like, deal different types of procs. So, like, one tip would be your impact so this here first like this quick melee this would be your impact because i thought like just playing around with it casually i thought hey i get like pretty consistent impact procs right but then like i just kept on playing around with it more and i didn't really see like eh, like anything too special about it because like we thought that maybe maybe the the top end so the one that's touching the floor right now is just physical and then the other end is elemental so like depending on which side you hit the enemy with with your pull arm would determine what type of proc it was but you know even if that was the case it wouldn't even mean that much anyway because the thing is you only have impact as a physical as a physical proc right so it wouldn't even wouldn't even matter that much apart from the sense that like you have condition overload on there so there's no real redeeming factors with this weapon it's i guess a, a worse version of the lesion if you're building full-on condition overload and it's also a worse version of a plague saw if you are building CO hybrid or just CO or even crit for that matter, I wouldn't recommend building this thing for crit, uh, just pure crit. You definitely need that condition overload on there to help you out with the crit, uh, because the crit stats are very, very low. Although 13% is, you know, decent enough to use, uh, what's it called? Uh, blood rush. You know, it's still, it's still relatively low. So, or you can just be a complete memer and use maiming strike, but we don't know how long that's going to last for. But, uh, yeah, that's, it's entirely up to you. Maybe you can get, like, a really cool ribbon for this and, like, make it a little bit better. But I wouldn't really recommend putting your format into this thing. Uh, and if you were going to put format into it, like, just go with a build that you can, uh, you know, make with less format. You know, if that makes any sense. It's it's not... Just just get the Legion or just get a Plague Czar. That, that, that's, that's, that's really all I can say with this. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong, but... It's definitely not not a weapon that I would recommend using, but uh, yeah, it get it comes from the infested bio lab in your clan's dojo. If you want to pick it up and level it, and then never look at it again, entirely up to you. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button below. If you want to see more content from me, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.